Today is Tuesday, which means that's time for another live Q&A all about eBay, Amazon, Facebook, Marketplace, Dropshipping. And today's video, we have a, a lot of announcements to cover. So if you are here, let me know where in the world you are chiming in from. Give this video a big thumbs up. And then we're going to get right into all of these announcements. We have a bunch of exciting things to cover. And then I will answer all your questions that you guys have about dropshipping that I can answer for you. So let me jump into the first bit of news. If you don't know already, then you're probably living under a rock, but starting tomorrow, tomorrow the first video in my series, my completely free Facebook Marketplace dropshipping series called Rise of the Marketplace Dropshipper, the first video is going up, it's being dropped. So if you guys haven't signed up for this series yet, what are you doing? It's completely free. Uh, nothing to lose by signing up for it. There are multiple videos in this series. So just click the first link underneath this video inside the description. Click on that link. Come here. Click enroll for free because it's free. And then you'll get access to all the videos in this series once they're all available. And these are only going to be available for a limited time. So the first video is dropping tomorrow. That's episode one. And then there's two other episodes, and then there's a sequel, which is a live training with me next week on Monday. So the next Monday that's coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Mountain time, 4 p.m. Pacific time. And this entire video series together is going to show you how you can get started with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. This is much more in depth than anything I've ever shown on YouTube before. So this is what it'll look like when you sign up for the for an account, again, a free account, you'll get access to this portal. It's called the Rise of the Marketplace Dropshipper, which is an homage to one of my favorite uh, series, although not necessarily my favorite movie in the series. Anyway, so you'll get access to this intro right away, and then episode one starting tomorrow, and then the other videos throughout the week, and then the live training next week, and then the video series is going away. So make sure you guys check it out before it completely disappears. Like I said, as soon as you sign up, you'll get access to this uh, quick intro video. You'll be able to see all of these. Uh, I put a bunch of stuff in here in the meantime, like all these students' results who have gone through my course. Um, we're absolutely killing it with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. You can see just all the results right here. Um, and then you'll also get a free Marketplace dropshipping ebook that you can keep forever. So you can hold on to that even after the series is closed down, you can still hold on to and have that and that's completely free. So even if you never end up joining my course, which is all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, uh, this series is gonna be jam packed full of value. I just finished recording them and just putting, putting the finishing touches on them in terms of editing and I think I went a little bit overboard. Just I put so much value into them. Um, they're, they're not too long, each one. one. One of them's a little bit like around a half hour because I just kept going with it, just kept adding more and more value to it. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love that one. Um, but you'll see, you'll see. It's just a ton of information in there for you guys. And like I said, the other component of this is that during the live training, which is next week, that will also be your first chance to join my course, Facebook Marketplace, or sorry, Marketplace Dropshipping Titans. Uh, it was open earlier this year and then it closed for enrollment. This is the last time I'm opening it up this year for the public to join it. So if you wanted to join, this is your last chance to join. And like I said, we already have students getting amazing results with it. And I'm opening it back up and I've updated it as well. So a lot of these videos have been updated based on feedback from students, based on new things we've learned. And I've just added a whole new section for you in here, all about hiring and training virtual assistants. All these videos will be going live within the next few days. Of course, all my existing students get these updates for free as always, but anyone joining will also get these updates included as well. It's like a brand new mini course I'm adding, including in here completely for free for anyone who signs up. So uh, I'm, I'm just trying to jam pack this full of as much value as possible, make this as much of a no brainer as possible. And hey, if you're interested, you just wanted to check it out, you just wanna learn a little bit more, just join the free series, Rise of the Marketplace Dropshipper, just check it out and see what it's all about. Um, and like I said, even if you just watch a free series, you're gonna get a ton of value out of it. Now, the last announcement that I have is about 
the marketplace drop, uh, sorry, the, um, the uh, Chrome extension, the helper, which I've created to help people drop ship on the Facebook marketplace. Well, really I designed it to help me drop ship on the Facebook marketplace, but I've made it available for the public as well. So this is the, the drop shipping Titans marketplace helper. Um, it's out, been out for a while now, but we just added a new feature to it that's now available if you up, update it in the Chrome store. And let me show you what this new feature does. So originally all it does is help you list items on the Facebook marketplace really quickly. It still does that. But look at this. If you now go to your Sonic. all orders page, let me uh, turn down the volume of this. If you now go to the all, all orders page, uh, you'll see on the top right, the Chrome extension adds these four buttons here. First one says start collect, start collect waiting orders. Second one says download all. Then third one says download since last. And the last one says clear and reset. So what it will do is if I click start collect waiting orders, it's now going to scan all the orders that are under the section that says waiting to be shipped. So in this case, there's two. So watch, I click it in this video. I had to pre-record this to blur stuff out. So I clicked it and now opened up those two orders, gathered all the info, a message pops up saying it's done. And now I click on the button that says download all, since this is my first time doing this. And when I open it up, it is now a spreadsheet, a, a, a CSV file, if you will, an Excel file, whatever you want to call it, with all the information. So it's going to give me the order number for those two orders, the title of the two items, the price of the two items, the quantity, the buyer's name and address. So why is this important? Well, now you can keep this for your records or you can give this for your virtual assistants. So that's what you can do. And then if you come in here later in the day to your all orders, Let's say you have two more orders. So you have the, under where it says waiting to be shipped, you have, let's say four orders now in total. The two that you had from this morning, which you've already download, downloaded, and two new ones. So now if I click on start collect waiting orders, what it will do is it will pick up where it left off. So it won't, it won't scan the two that we've already scanned, it will just scan the two new ones. And then if I click where it says download since last, it will download a, a, spread, a spreadsheet or an Excel file, whatever you want to call it, with only the two newest orders. It won't download all four of them because we've already downloaded the two of them before. Does that make sense or is that like way too confusing? But basically what it does is you, every time you come to your all orders page, you, you click where it says start collect waiting orders. It will start scanning the orders based on where it picked, uh, where, where it stopped last time and then click on where it says download since last, and it will only download into a spreadsheet the new orders since the last time you downloaded the spreadsheet. Um, but if you ever wanted to download all of the ones, you could just click download all, or if you ever needed to uh, clear it and reset and just start over, there's an option for you to do that as well. It's kind of like a, as a backup fail safe kind of thing. Uh, so that's a new update, it's now available. This has been very helpful because now I can give these spreadsheets to my virtual assistant so I don't have to place the orders anymore. So those are the big updates. Remember the link to Rise of the Marketplace Dropshipper is underneath this video or you can just go to, yeah, just click on the link underneath this video and sign up for it. Again, completely free, only available for a limited time, but I think you guys are absolutely gonna love that. All right, so let's see who's here in the chat and what kind of questions you guys have for me. All right. And if you guys are enjoying that update, I would appreciate you giving the video a thumbs up to let me know that. And then I will answer these questions. Yeah, just leave it in the live chat and I will answer your questions for you. That's that's why you guys should be here live. That's why you guys should subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so that when I do go live, you can ask your question, be one of the first people to ask your question and I will uh, do my best to answer it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, George says, I have a lot I have a lot of space to list on eBay, but now every time I list more than 200 items, uh, eBay charges me 43 cents insertion fee. So George, what happens is eBay, you might have a limit of a thousand items. That doesn't mean you can list all those items for free. eBay only gives you a certain number of free listings every single month. And the opposite's true as well. Even if you get, let's say, 200 free listings a month, that doesn't mean you can list 200 items a month. You might only be able to list 50 items a month. So 
I, yeah, I know it's confusing, but that's the way eBay does it. Uh, it would make it would be better if they just don't charge you for insertions at all, like on Facebook Marketplace. So that's one of the cool things about Facebook Marketplace. Every time you list an item, they don't charge you to create that listing. It's completely free. Um, but yeah, but that's what it is. So George, the best advice I have for you is to uh, sign up for an eBay store subscription. They'll they'll raise the number of free listings that you get. Yes, it costs money to have a store subscription, but it is worth it because uh, you get more free listings. Um, or what you can do is just delete some listings that aren't selling and make room for new ones. Um, okay, so answer that question. You're welcome. Can I use AutoDS version two and SKUGrid at the same time? Um, theoretically, I think you could. Uh, I don't think there would be some sort of interference, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't put the same items into each. I, I would only uh, put if you have uh, one listing, only put into one of them. Or rather, I should say, only put each listing into one of them. How do I set up AutoDS? I mean, when you sign up for AutoDS, they kind of walk you through the process. Uh, depending on what settings you want, you might want to do it a little bit differently. That I mean, in my course, I teach how to do this. I don't really have a public YouTube video about how to do it, but uh, yeah, they kind of walk you through how to do it. All right, let me skip ahead for a minute and I'll come back up. Um, let's see. All right. Oops. Yeah, this, this camera turns off after like a half hour. So it's been on for a while. So that's probably gonna happen one more time during this live stream. Uh, I am not getting orders on Facebook Marketplace. So unfortunately, I don't have like enough information to really help you out. Um, you know, there's a number of things you wanna look at. One, how many listings do you have? If you only have one item up for sale, you gotta list some more items. Two, how are you pricing your items? Too expensive, no one's gonna buy from you. Um, if you have the wrong like shipping settings, no one's gonna buy from you. Um, if you have the wrong location in there, it's gonna be hard to make sales as well. So there's a lot of factors that go into us. I always, I've been saying all year, I really think Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is one of the simplest places to start when it comes to selling products online, uh, especially if you do the dropshipping model, nothing out there. I've looked at everything, I've tried so many things, nothing out there is as simple as Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. But there's still mistakes you can make. There's still things that you have to set up correctly and get right in order for it to work. So if you don't have that, then no, you're not gonna be successful. But if you get it all right, um, and you know the system, which is, is not hard to master, uh, as, as long as you follow the steps and know what to do, then it is very, very simple. Um, I'm new to Amazon, I'm lost with UPC. Find those, Paul, please help, uh, from AliExpress. So I don't really, I don't do AliExpress to Amazon at all. So I can't really help you with that. Most items out there already exist and already have a UPC. So you need to uh, locate the UPC for that item. On retailers' websites, those items are usually pretty easy to find the UPC, um, especially if we're piggybacking off of existing listings, so then it, we, it's already there. But um, we don't have to find it ourselves, which is what, what I do, what I teach to do. But with, from AliExpress, I, I don't do it. It's just there's a lot of things I don't like about it, especially coming to Amazon, so I don't, I don't touch it. Um, uh, what kind of internet do you use when you're in a camper? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I travel around full time in a camper van. I'm not there right now. I'm, I'm uh, in a co-working space, getting a bunch of stuff ready for this video series that I'm launching and for the relaunch of my Marketplace Dropshipping Titans course. Uh, so I've been pretty busy with that. Normally the dropshipping stuff is, is very easy to do traveling full time because I just do it from my laptop and I have an internet connection, that's all I need. This stuff requires a lot more video, so that's why the, the uh, co-working space has been really helpful. But on the road, uh, when I just need internet, you can hotspot off your phone. That's the easiest thing to do. I have a Verizon phone. Uh, because I do these live streams and always wanna make sure I have fast internet, I also have an AT&T hotspot and a T-Mobile hotspot. Uh, both of them have deals going on right now for about 100 gigabytes a month for $50, or AT&T's $55, so 
look into those because uh, those are pretty awesome deals they have right now. Can you give us your advice about handling time? Yeah, so every supplier that you drop ship from, no matter where you drop ship them onto, whether that's onto Facebook Marketplace, onto eBay, onto Amazon, wherever it is, and um, you're always going to have to think about shipping and handling time because they're all, all the suppliers that you use are going to ship out their items at different speeds and they're, they're going to ship out uh, at different shipping speeds. Oh, right, did I say that twice? They're going to do have different handling times, how long it takes them to get out their item and their shipping time will be, uh, will be different as well. So these are all things you want to kind of uh, think about, especially in terms of the marketplace. Something like eBay has very adjustable handling and shipping time. So you can pick, you can say how long your handling and shipping time is. So whatever your supplier's handling and shipping time is, you should match that on eBay. Update it, your business policies, so that it matches the handling and shipping time for that supplier. And obviously you have to use a different one for each supplier. For something like Facebook Marketplace where they say you have to ship out your item within three days, then you have to find suppliers that work within that time window. And that's the way you would do it. Wow, awesome job, Dave. Dave says, take Paul's Facebook course when you get a chance. As of today, I have over $30,000 in sales and started selling January 18th. Average 31% profit margin and 48% ROI. Everything you need is in the course. That's awesome, Dave. Thank you so much for sharing that. I love, love hearing from my students who are crushing it with what I'm teaching inside the course with Facebook Marketplace. And like, guys, this is the reality when it comes to Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. I can't make this stuff up. The profit margins are just incredible, excellent compared to other marketplaces when it comes to drop shipping. Um, and you see, it's only been a few months. He's already getting this going. It's already the ball's mo more than rolling here. He's doing an amazing job. So congratulations, Dave. Um, you just know what to do. You 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 implement it. You do it, and you can you can get results like that if you put in the time and, and the work, which Dave definitely has. Hey Frank, how's it going? Like I said, guys, if when you join the series Rise of the Marketplace Dropship, which is my free four-part video series all about Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping, which is linked up in the description, then at the end of that is your chance to join my course, Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping. Um, it's going to only be open next week for a few days. So once it's closed, it's closed for the rest of the year and that and that's it, I'm not gonna open it back up. Um, so that way I can concentrate on my students' results that are already in the program. Hey, what's up, Danny? Thanks for being here. What's up, Kimberly? Glad you're back. And Jake, what's up, Paul in Omaha? Aaron, how's it going, man? Sam, thanks for being here. Hey, Mary, thanks for coming back. Um, okay, good afternoon, good afternoon. Austria, probably pretty late there, so thanks for staying up and hanging out with us. Yeah, you're gonna love it, especially the virtual assistant stuff I'm adding to the course, because um, a lot of people out there are saying that you can't really have virtual assistants work on your Facebook Marketplace dropshipping business because we don't really have software that integrates well with Facebook Marketplace. Um, but that's not true. What I mean, what's not true is you can have virtual assistants to help you with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And I've been doing it successfully, no issues with Facebook banning that account uh, for whatever reason. People are afraid that virtual assistants log into their Facebook account, their account will get suspended or whatever, but that hasn't been the case if you know what to do and you set it up the right way, which is what I'm showing inside the course because it's working for me. Um, so really great stuff there. I think you're. Yeah, I think it's really great because virtual assistants are always a game changer, right? With all my businesses, you know, I'm running multiple online businesses, there's no way, no way I'd be able to do it without virtual assistants. Yes, we have software. Software helps us automate our business, helps streamline things, it helps us uh, uh, be as efficient as possible. But automation with software can only go so far before a human has to step in and actually do work. And instead of me doing it, I've hired and trained virtual assistants to do it for all my online business they help me with. So 
I, when, it, when I started doing Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, I said, there's no way this is gonna work unless I find virtual assistants and find a way for them to be able to do this. And so that's what I've, I've done. Uh, there wasn't a way to do it before. That's why I've created the Chrome extension to solve these problems. I showed you guys that before. The Chrome extension will now download all the orders uh, into a CSV file that I can just give my virtual assistants and then they place the orders. So now I don't have to do that part of it. And that's, that's always the part fulfilling orders that I hate doing the most. And when it comes to virtual assistants, I always wanna hire for the job that I hate the most. That's the first job I wanna outsource. It's the first thing I did with eBay dropshipping, with Amazon dropshipping, and now with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. Uh, it's actually the second job um, in this case, only because I couldn't find a good way for them to do it at first, but now that we have that good way to do it, they're doing it for me. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's working really well. So game changer when it comes to virtual assistants. Um, uh, Jason said, hey Paul, something weird happened with me last week on Facebook Marketplace. My account went into a review for about five days and then they finally let me have access back this past week, this past Saturday, weird. That is strange, Jason. I haven't heard of that one happening. Um, I have a few guesses as to why that might happen. Jason, I know you are very, uh, you're very good at doing at drop shipping. You're always on top of things and always find, always, always push through and, and are always successful. Is the word I'm looking for. Um, so my guess is maybe they saw maybe an uptick in sales, so they wanted to just make sure that everything was looking legit, and so they gave you a little review. I only say that because we've seen that happen with like PayPal. I've never heard of it happening with, with Facebook Marketplace, but maybe that's the case. Also, Facebook Marketplace has been hit recently with a bunch of bugs uh, where they, um, a bunch of accounts have been getting emails saying that there's there has been some sort of security issue and they need to change their password. And then when they try to do that, they are temporarily, uh, their Facebook Marketplace account is temporarily disabled. That's a known bug that Facebook is working on. Um, they know about it, they know it's a big problem, and they are actively working on it. And that's hopefully gonna be fixed very, very soon. And as soon as it does, um, everyone can get their accounts back and get up and running. And actually, if it happened to you, you can get your account back right now. You just appeal it, uh, send them a message saying, I've heard this is a bug, you know, I'm on the Facebook in the Facebook group, and they say this is an error, there was no security issue, and then that's been hap that's been working for a lot of people. People get their accounts back really fast and are able to keep selling. So I know it's kind of a pain, but just appeal it. You get your account back right away. Uh, you didn't do anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing. It's just a bug on Facebook's part that they're aware of, that they've admitted to, that they say they're working on. And as soon as it's resolved, that will stop happening. Um, so just appeal in the meantime and get back up and running. Um... Hey, I got a three-day restriction on my account for a Vero infringement. Will it ever reset sometime? So Victor, you're selling, this is selling on eBay. So yeah, that means you listed up products for sale that you weren't allowed to list up for sale. Um, that's what Vero is, the Verified Rights Owner Program. You get too many of those violations, um, your account could get suspended. Now, if you get a few of them, it's okay. All eBay does is temporarily suspend you. Uh, for, for, or sorry, restrict you for like a short period of time, like in this case, three days. But again, to keep doing it, they could pan, uh, permanently suspend you. So what I recommend that you do is stop listing Vero items. Use a software like AutoDS, which is what we use to list items. But really any software like AutoDS, it will warn you if you try to list a Vero item. So if it tells you this is a Vero, don't list that item, okay? because it's just not worth the risk of, of getting your account shut down. I'm looking at drop sh at drop shipping all my dropship products on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm not sure what you're asking, Frank. Maybe you can clarify. If I have the shipping option, can everyone in the US see and order my items or just people in my 500 mile radius, says Mel. Um, potentially everyone, Mel. So this is one of the really cool things. Before 2019, 2020, when, uh, Facebook, when you used to list products on the Facebook marketplace, the only people that would see it were people within your geographic location. 
Um, so th because if anyone bought it from you, they would have to drive to you to pick up the item and yeah, that way. But now we have the ability to ship items to our customers. We have the shipping option on Facebook Marketplace. So now if I'm selling this mug and I say, hey, I'm offering shipping for this, then potentially everyone throughout the United States will see it. Now, not everyone will see it, obviously. People searching for a mug or like a white mug that's whatever, however tall this is, if I make that my, that my title, then anyone searching for that will see it. And if they buy it, then I'll ship the mug directly to them. Um, so it's not just people in my geographic location. So when Facebook made that change, it was a game changer, literally, because it allowed us on Facebook Marketplace to start drop shipping. Because prior to that, drop shipping wasn't possible really because you would have to meet up with someone in person. No longer the case. Now when someone buys from us, our supplier ships the item directly to the customer, which is a drop shipping model. And this new shipping option has unlocked that and has enabled that for us. It's still pretty new, which is why it's uh, one of the reasons why it's still un uh, relatively unsaturated. And the other reason is just because the market on Facebook Marketplace is huge. There are so many people using Facebook and specifically Facebook Marketplace. In fact, it, I looked at the numbers uh, last week and I was surprised how many more people shop on Facebook Marketplace than on eBay. When eBay is specifically designed to be a marketplace where you buy and sell, and Facebook uh, you know, is a lot broader, does a lot more things, but there are a lot more buyers on Facebook Marketplace by a lot. And if you think about it, it makes sense, right? You have Facebook on your phone, most people do, and they go around and you know they're waiting in line, they're on the train, they're commuting, whatever it is, they're bored, what do they do? They pull out their phone, start scrolling through Facebook, and they jump over the Facebook Marketplace, start looking at items, see something they want, and they buy it, because it's just one click, on an app they already have on their phone. So a lot of people ask like, why don't these people shop around? Well, it's convenient. They're already on Facebook uh, Marketplace on their phone. Um, it's easy, they don't have to open up another app, they don't have to start s uh, searching for the product somewhere else. It's right there. They're already on it, it's convenience. That's why people do it and that's why it works. And there's obviously a lot of customers doing it. Um, sweet. Yeah, diversification is critical. Uh, I read this really cool stat that, I was reading about millionaires earlier today and different stats about millionaires. Some really cool stuff in there. Things like the average millionaire reads for 30 minutes a day. You know, I've heard stuff like that. Um, but other interesting ones, like the average millionaire has seven different streams of income, seven. So if you start diversifying your income, I guess it increases the chance you'll be a millionaire or something like that. Uh, so, you know, you have eBay drop shipping, Facebook Marketplace drop shipping, Amazon. You can uh, do different things as well. Um, seven different streams of income. Also, the average, uh, something like 76% or 75% of millionaires work out for about 30 minutes a day. Uh, so, cool, cool stats about millionaires. Yeah, so the existing course members will get the updates probably by the end of this week all the updates will be there um, but someone asked me with all these weird stuff happening with facebook marketplace should i wait um i don't think you should wait and this is going to be fixed any day now and um i don't think it's happening as often to newer people who are just starting out so i think you're fine if it does happen it's you just you send a couple messages and you get your account back it's not a big deal Are you allowed to make a second account on Facebook with the same info? No, absolutely not. Um, that's the official rule. You're not allowed to. You only Each person is only allowed to have one Facebook account. So with Facebook Marketplace, it's tied to your personal Facebook account. So in order to have multiple Facebook Marketplace accounts, you have to have multiple Facebook accounts. And you're only allowed to have one Facebook account per person. That's Facebook's rule. And that's because they want to combat, you know, like uh, misinformation and like, fake identities and stuff like that. Uh, do people do it? Yeah, probably, but if you want to stick by the rules, then don't do it. Uh, Facebook Marketplace had an AI problem last week, but seems to be working fine now. Yeah, like I said, they're working on it. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the issue is worked itself out uh, or if they've worked it out or are almost done working it out. I haven't checked 
the Facebook group, this, sorry, the, uh, the Facebook group that's created by Facebook Marketplace themselves. I haven't checked it today to see what the update is. Um, okay. Hip all my Chrome extension is not allowing me to log in to send a ticket, but they said to address it here. Uh, that's sorry. So I think, um, if you have any problems with the, with the Chrome extension, you can always submit a support ticket, which it sounds like you did, and we will get back to you. You will get an automated response telling you where you can find more information. Um, that's probably what you got was that automated response, but we will look into it for you. We're not going to, you're not going to, we're not going to address it here. Uh, cause I don't have, I'm not going to have you send your email <laughs> over the uh, chat, but I, I, I'll check the email that should be routed to me and then I'll address it. Uh, so shipping option, uh, if it's not available on your profile, because remember before I was talking about how we could ship this mug to people, uh, not everyone has the option to ship items, but the more you sell, the uh, the more items you sell, the quicker you'll get the shipping option. They just don't offer it on new accounts and they only offer it if in some countries. So for instance, uh, in the United States, they offer it for older accounts or accounts that have been up and running, not new accounts. Um, if it's not available to you, sell items, I'm sorry, use Facebook, use Facebook Marketplace, and you can even send a message to them, ask, ask them, and sometimes that works. Um, otherwise, there are other ways, other things you can do if you don't have the shipping option. Hey, Mark, how's it going? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I think $100 is enough, um, but you really would want to have a credit card because you need to fulfill the orders. Then once Facebook pays you, you can use that money to pay off the credit card. But uh, in terms of the initial investment, yeah, that, that's looking good. What are your thoughts on AutoDS sometimes not updating the stock quantity for listings on eBay? So Corona, um, if you ever have issues like that, I've tried all the software out there, everything that's like AutoDS that does similar stuff to it. None of the, I haven't found a perfect one. I found that they, I haven't found a single one that works 100% of the time. But AutoDS works really well. Um, it gets most everything. And um, any issues you have, you can reach out to their support and they're more than willing to help you. So that's what I would, if there's ever a problem, let them know about it so that they can make their their system better, which they, they do. Can you explain how the mentorship works for the Facebook Marketplace course? Yeah, so when you sign up for the course, you're gonna get six weeks of group coaching. So every single week for six weeks, starting probably the, the week after the course closes for enrollment, um, we will meet on a, it's very similar to this, you know, like a live stream like this, but it's private. It's on a, it's on my private website. So no one else can access it. And uh, you can submit your question beforehand. And I really ask that you do that so that you can, um, I, I can really prepare and make sure I have full information and even demonstrations for you. But every single week for six weeks, I basically go through the program and teach it live. Uh, so that way, you know, everything you're going to learn is a hundred percent up to date. I guarantee you the course is up to date because I just updated it and I'll continue to update it. But over the six weeks, I will, I will teach it live and you'll know everything is up to date because I'm teaching it live. And um, you also have your chance beforehand to submit your questions and I will answer those questions for you during that, that live. And if there's time at the end, I'll answer any questions for anyone who's there live as well. Um, but that's the way that works for six weeks. Um, I use non-API AutoDS. Yeah, non-API, I believe, uh, in my opinion, is much better. It's a safer way to go with, with uh, eBay dropshipping. I have never, ever, ever seen someone who gets uh, their... Who, I've, never, I've never, ever, ever seen someone get removed from using Facebook Marketplace and also get their Facebook account shut down. I've never seen anyone get their entire Facebook account get shut down because they did something wrong on Facebook Marketplace. 
And I think last week's a good example of that because last week, again, there was, an, there was a bug that, so that, that made it so that a lot of people's Facebook Marketplace accounts stopped working, but they were still able to access their Facebook accounts. So I don't think there's, there's no evidence that doing something on Facebook Marketplace is gonna get your entire Facebook account shut down. There's just no proof of that that's ever happened. Um, it hasn't happened to me, no. I'm not sure sure why. I mean, if you look at the numbers, statistically, it hasn't happened to most people. Um, so I think I'm just in that majority. Because the ban is just a bug, I don't think there's any issue with, with uh, what you do after that ban happens because it is just a bug. Um, and so I, I doubt it's gonna happen again. Hey, what's up, Ivan? No, you can use a personal credit card for eBay dropshipping, but you have to make sure that you have enough money on that credit card to actually fulfill the orders. So if you have like a thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars on that, and then once eBay pays you, you can obviously restore that balance. No, I use uh, AutoDS for that. Okay, so Tazzy has a question about Facebook Marketplace. So Tazzy wants to know, is it better to DM the customer and ask for their address and have them pay via PayPal? That way you get your money faster with no fees. That is true. Facebook, when, when someone pays through Facebook Marketplace and they click the buy button, um, you will not get the money right away, like I said, but once you uh, upload a tracking number a few days later, the money will be released to you. Um, and you won't have to pay as high of a fee or potentially no fee, depending on how they pay you on PayPal. Now, chances are if they pay you on PayPal, they're gonna do as uh, like sending a product. So, oh my gosh, it's hailing outside. Oh, wow. Um, so uh, I hope the internet doesn't cut out. It's not that windy, but it is hailing. Um, yeah, I totally lost my train of thought. I apologize for that. So uh, talking about PayPal, um, yeah, but they're, they're probably choose like a goods or service, which means that PayPal will still charge you a fee, like 3% fee, which is really not that much different than the 5% fee that you're paying on Facebook Marketplace. And I don't know, from a consumer standpoint, if I was shopping on Facebook Marketplace, I'd be more comfortable clicking the button that says buy now than sending someone money through PayPal. And with that said, I do have customers that pay me on PayPal. For some reason, they're more comfortable with that or they opt for that. Whatever it is, it happens all the time. But I think uh, ultimately what you should do is have the customer pay the way they are most comfortable paying. So if they're comfortable paying on Facebook, which is most of them, just have them do that. But if they wanna pay through PayPal, I let them do that because uh, Whatever, whatever gets me gets me the money and gets me the sale. That is the most important thing. Also consider that the more barriers you put between your customer and the purchase, the less likely they are to actually purchase. So on when they're shopping on Facebook and they see that buy button, so easy for them to click it and purchase the item and we instantly get their address and all that. But if they have to pay through PayPal, those extra steps involved, then they might drop off and not actually make the purchase. So lots of things to consider. But ultimately, whatever gets you the sale is what I'll say. Uh, which course are you talking about? But all, yeah, both my eBay course and my Facebook Marketplace course show you how to use AutoDS. So drop shipping in the US as a non-US resident um, is complicated. I'm not gonna lie about that. It is, is not straightforward at all. And the best thing that you have to do is you have to set up a business and you need you need like a US computer basically that's here on a US server. Probably the safest, the easiest way to do that, the most uh, safest way would be to get a VPS here in the United States. But you also have to set up your business. Uh, like I said, I don't know, I don't use 
AliExpress or Facebook at all because the handling time and shipping time is way too long. So that's not what I do at all. Mary wants to know how much my Chrome extension is. It is a monthly subscription. It's currently $12.99 a month. Um, should I get, and yeah, AutoDS is really helpful to get as well because AutoDS will uh, let you know if there's price changes. So if you have, if you list an item up for sale and the, there's no buy button on your listing, that means you don't have that shipping option. That's what we were talking about before at the mug. You don't have the shipping option available. Uh, again, it will become available to you the more you sell, if you're in the United States if, and uh, you don't violate any Facebook rules. How do we cancel orders if the item is out of stock on Facebook Marketplace? Um, you have to go to your orders on Facebook Marketplace and you can refund the customer. I think that's what you're asking. You don't have to, but it's a really smart idea to do it. Have you started wholesale dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace yet? If not, do you plan to in the future? Maybe in the future, but um, not right now. And the reason I'm not doing it now is, yes, we do that on other marketplaces like eBay and Amazon. Um, partly that's because that's what, sorry, that's what those platforms want. eBay and Amazon want you to work with wholesalers. So to comply with those rules, that's what we're doing. Um, and we're, we're forming these business relationships with these wholesalers, which is, which is excellent, you know? But the problem with wholesale is it's not as automated and getting it set up can be, you know, slightly more complicated than using retail websites. So whenever I start selling on any platform, I always start with retail, just keep it as simple as possible, as basic as possible, um, as streamlined as possible, especially with the software that automates it. And with, with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, dropshipping from retail websites works so well and is so efficient that's what I'm going to keep doing. I always find something that works and I double down on it, then triple down on it and quadruple down on it, whatever you want to, whatever, however you want to describe it. I just keep going more and more in on it because it works, right? And I'm not going to adjust that if I don't have to. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll have to change for some reason, but for now it's great. Um... What's the values on your course or pro dropshipping eBay users? You mean like, should people who are already dropshipping on eBay use, sign up for my course? Um, possibly, I mean, I don't know what level you're at, um, but you should definitely, you could always check it out. It comes with, all my courses come with a 30 day, no questions asked money back guarantee, including the eBay one, including the Facebook marketplace one. So you could always check it out. And if you're not getting the value out of it that you wanted, you already knew everything, you can ask for uh, the refund. I mean, I shouldn't probably be saying that because I don't want people to just join the course casually checking it out. And like, I want people to join who are serious, but I say this to you because you're obviously serious. Um, you obviously have taken action um, and maybe you're just looking for another angle, looking to learn more. So in that case, yeah, I, I could say that it might be a good idea for you, but uh, for most people, you know, if you're serious about drop shipping, if, you're, if you, you really want to learn how to do it, you can go ahead and join join the course. Yeah. Uh, talked about those. On any platform, I, I always advise never scaling up too quickly uh, on any marketplace because I don't think it it's, I think it triggers something on every marketplace. So always start slow. Um, you know, there's don't, don't rush. There's no need to rush. Um, in a few months, you'll be good even before that. So just don't rush it at first. Hey, what's up, Patrick? Hey, what's up? Um, so drop shipping from Walmart to Amazon is, is not a smart idea for beginners um, because that's in the beginning of an Amazon account is when Amazon really reviews new uh, reviews accounts. So you really wanna be using wholesalers in the beginning. Um, if you wanna do Walmart like later, it definitely works. People are making a lot of money from it, but you're gonna get a lot of reviews and that's when uh, you might run into some issues. 
And I put my social security number into Facebook Marketplace and it's been verifying for about 10 days. That's likely because of all the glitches that have been happening on Facebook Marketplace and so many people sending in appeals and messages to Facebook Marketplace because normally it doesn't take that long. Uh, I would send them a few messages to their support team and uh, ask them to uh, kind of push that through because you're ready to sell. Have I ever tried drop servicing? What are your thoughts? Uh, I've, I've considered it. I've started to go down that road and ultimately I didn't. So what drop servicing is, is you, let's say, I'm trying to think of an example here. Um, you offer someone a service and then when they buy it from you, you outsource it to someone else for much cheaper. So for example, I'll, I'll say, I'll build you a Shopify store, okay, for $2,000, let's say, okay? And then you, you pay me $2,000 and then I go on Fiverr and pay someone $500 to do it, okay? That's drop servicing. Um, I'm sure it works, but you know, I, I just, I've never done it. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I just, I mean, I, I don't have anything to drop service. I think that's what the issue is. I mean, if I was going to drop service, I would do it somehow like through this YouTube channel, which makes the most sense. But again, I, I don't have anything to drop service like that. I, I, I like to teach people how to do stuff. So if I'm going to teach, if I'm going to help someone with Shopify drop shipping, I'm going to show them how to start drop uh, Shopify themselves, right? Um, if I'm going to, you know, I could, I guess I could drop service like uh, product research or something. But again, I'd rather show you how to do product research yourself. Okay. Um, do I trust VAs to give your credit card or PayPal to them? Uh, no, I don't. I don't give them that information. There's no need to. Credit card information is stored on my supplier's website, so um, um, I don't need to, you know, give them that information at all. Um, do you think Facebook Marketplace is a better investment of your time rather than eBay at the moment? It's hard to say because eBay has been around for so long and it, and um, Facebook Marketplace is still brand new. Um, so I think like if you get eBay going and you're successful with it, there is a there's I think there's a really really good chance it will continue to do well long into the future. If you really get down Facebook now, it's kind of unknown how how like what's the longevity of that. I'm just being honest about that, right? With that said, right now it is really really hot. Like before I showed you guys one of my students who's who's absolutely crushing it on Facebook Marketplace at like 30% profit margins, who's able to scale up really quickly. And I'm kind of a big believer, like make hay while the sun shines, right? It's hot right now. It's working right now. So I'm going like almost all in with it. And I encourage everyone else to do it as well because it's working and it's simple and it, the margins are great and the competition is low and the, uh, the number of people shopping there is really, really high. So it's a really amazing time to get into it. And even if a year from now something happens and the whole thing goes away and it stops working, well, we just had a really good year where we made a lot of money. We learned a lot about drop shipping, and then you can jump onto something like eBay and apply it to eBay. Um, so yeah, those, that's kind of my thought on it. Hope hope that answers your question. Uh, all right. Uh, yes and no. It potentially. I mean. I can pick up my laptop and go anywhere in the world as long as I have an internet connection and it will work. But I'm a US seller based here in the United States. Um, it's definitely harder for people overseas. Uh, you can always check external lists, um, but AutoDS is always adding more to their list. So they learn as time goes on. So it gets better and better and better. Uh, 
Um, Autodesk is allowing my virtual assistant to list items that are not being shipped and sold by the source, Walmart in particular. Uh, first, Wally, I would retrain your virtual assistant to have them avoid those items. Um, and then again, reach out to Autodesk support and let them know about the issue. How to get started. I mean, check out my free video series that, that again, is gonna go, uh, gonna go live starting tomorrow. First link in the description, sign up for that. You get free info about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, multiple video course. Um, so yeah, I would check that out. Would you recommend any particular style of product research for Facebook Marketplace? So here on, in my course, um, where is it? I actually teach, where is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five different ways to do product research on Facebook Marketplace. And this one, I just updated. So anyone who's inside my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping course, check out this video right here called Using Best Sellers because I've just made that video even better. And there's like three different techniques in there. So you really get like three, four, five, six, seven different ways to do product research. I don't want to overwhelm you with different ways, but... I found that all of them work and you can pick the one that works best for you, uh, the one that you're having the most successful, uh, most success with and double down on it. Because again, if something works for you, double down on it and because uh, that, that's that's the best strategy you do. So try all seven techniques and then pick the one that's, best, that's working the best for you. Um, I'm not really doing a lot from AliExpress and uh, so I can't really talk about using them too much but you can reach out to different suppliers um, and ask them about their return policies. Why would they ask you for facial verification? No, I mean, I would use a real image on your, real photo of you on your Facebook profile. I think that'll make people feel really comfortable buying from you, um, which is one of the reasons people shop on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, <laughs> no problem, man. Hope you won it big. Let, let me know, Sean. How'd you do at the casino? <laughs> yeah, if items aren't selling, uh, lower. try lowering the price a little bit. Uh, it's all going to be revealed next week. I would join the, the uh, free video series because I'll talk all about it during the last video, which is live. Thanks for a reminder, Sean, to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, I'm not sure why you don't have the chat button. I'll have to look if I still have it. I thought I did. Maybe try a different computer or a different browser. Yeah, all my courses, you can pay with PayPal um, unless you're doing the payment plan, in which case you can't use PayPal for that. I just found that AutoDS is really beginner friendly, very simple to start. They have a really nice, clean looking interface as compared to SkewGrid, so uh, that's the one that I prefer. SkewGrid definitely works. It works with a lot of suppliers, which is awesome. I just found it really confusing to use. Um, um, I did figure it out, like I mean, I know how it works, but you know, when I try to teach it to people and show them, it's really difficult. Um, so AutoDS is just very simple and works really well. I, I did set up an LLC, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 more than enough to start. Uh, it happens very, very rarely, um, Miss Budget Mom. <laughs> um, people do complain sometimes, but if you look at the percentage-wise, it's like very, very little. And usually if it happens, you send them like a nice message, exp kind of explain things um, a little bit, and then usually they don't care and it goes away. And for the few that few, the few that do care, we usually offer like a partial refund and usually kind of gets rid of the problem. No, you're not, not allowed to do returns on Facebook Marketplace. I answered this, so maybe a 
go back in the video and listen to it. Trying to cancel my subscription. I'm not sure what you're canceling your subscription for. If it's for the Chrome extension, then you just literally open up the Chrome extension and click on my account at the bottom, log in and click on the left where it says subscriptions. And you can always cancel your subscription at any time. What does my Chrome extension do? Um, the Chrome extension will list items on the Facebook marketplace for you. So uh, you can grab an item from Amazon. It will copy the title, the photos, it will mark up the price. It will grab the description and paste it all into a new listing on Facebook marketplace. And you can also download all your Facebook marketplace orders. Yes, they are expanding it and it will be available outside the United States. In some countries it's already available. Uh, hey, <laughs> that's my other YouTube channel. That's all about our travels in the camper van. So that's Chad saying hi. Orlando, my puppy, is still at obedience school. We're picking him up on Thursday, so two days. He's been gone for a while, so we do miss him. And uh, yeah, apparently he's doing really well. And hopefully he won't be so uh, disobedient. <laughs> yeah, if I'm overseas, I always use a VPN. Um, I've learned a lot about VPNs over the years. So using ones like NordVPN, um, are generally okay for situations like where you're working at like a coffee shop or on public Wi-Fi and just trying to stay a little bit safer. But uh, there are problems with them in terms of trying to like hide. Like if you're trying to set up like these stealth accounts or ghost accounts or whatever, they don't really work for that. So for that, I use like a static dedicated VPN. I'm gonna make a whole video on that at some point. Let me write down a note. Make a whole video about it and why I use them. Where should I write this down? I have like so many notes going on right now. Um, put it right here. Review. All right, that'll make a good YouTube video. Good idea, thank you. <laughs> uh, sweet, congratulations, that's awesome. Kind of jealous. I tried, uh, I'll make a video about that too. Uh, and I'll explain what happened. All right, guys, so that's it for this week. Well, that's it for today. Starting tomorrow, you guys can watch the Rise of the Marketplace Dropshipper video series, the first video in it, and then over the next few days, all the videos will be released. Um, so definitely check that out, completely free, linked up in the description. And hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. If you did, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure to check out Rise of the Marketplace Dropshipper. And I'll see you guys on Monday for video number four in Rise of the Marketplace Dropshipper, which is a live live uh, presentation, live training, I should say. So I'll see you guys there. Bye for now.